Hi guys and welcome back to another plot review. So I'm here again on Dakacraft and today we are at, well, this is Duke on the Red. So, if it actually comes up, there we go, there it is. Actually, I don't know if I even need this on. No, I don't. Excellent. So this is Duke on the Red uh, 1, this is his plot. He's got a really, really cool uh, kind of castle, this is actually on P-. minus. Uh, if you guys do want to come to it as well, you can always do... It's actually plot me, or P, T, P, and then it's minus 15... Semicolon and minus 15. Nice and easy one to remember. I'll bring you right here. Outside of it. This way. But this is a really, really good plot. Um, I know that Dukon's got his own YouTube channel as well. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to check him out. Got some really, really cool ideas in this. And some stuff that I'll be talking about um, that you guys should take away from this plot. Uh, this this castle. It's a pretty crazy castle, to be honest, for the, for the size of it. It's pretty nuts. Um, but yeah. One of the things that's really good and I really like about it is just... Simple detail around the sides. Lots of times people just kind of ignore it or just spam stuff, but um, I can tell that he's actually spent time to, you know, put these buttresses in, which are like supports, to actually support the wall. Um, there's also some on the other wall as well, I believe. Yeah, there's some over here as well. So there's loads of these, like, supports around. They're not mega regular, but you can see that the stone brick does get carried through down to there, which is really, really cool. Um, I probably would have liked to see more cracked stone bricks kind of in the work around it so that you can see that the pressure is almost being taken by those and they're they are handling it but maybe not so well but also stuff you know like all of this detail I mean look there's a dead bush there and he put that by hand detail stuff so there's a skull and random stuff around the back and all this kind of stuff so that's really really good like uh, really good like use of detail you can see this side as well is megaly detailed um, even this water so you can tell that there's going to be water there maybe there's a moat around it even though this kind of you know, size of the plot doesn't allow you to expand that much because they are really tiny. Showing that water there could mean that there is a moat somewhere around, and then this is just like a corner that cuts across it. So it could actually be defended that way, and that would make sense with what we've got here, or at least partly. Probably not actually with this one, but it might have a bridge, at least. It might have a small bridge coming off from this piece here, but there's the actual entrance. Uh, another thing that's really, really good, and I mean really good about this plot, is the use of the mossy stone bricks. Uh, usually what happens with these type of builds and castles is people just do a brush and they just do a brush of a mix between stone bricks, um, sometimes this one, four column one, and also cracked stone bricks and the mossy so you get like like you know a couple blocks really. Um, you might do like 30% of that one or 34% of that one, 33 and 33 and what happens is you just get this kind of like spammed look and it does look varied but it doesn't look accurate, whereas this one looks accurate because, there we go, you can see this is kind of split on the side. And this is one of the things I really want to talk about on this one. You can see that there's mossy down the bottom, so if there was, for example, this water and there is a moat, that would make it quite mossy, and that would explain like stuff like this. And this is um, Jungle Edge biome for like vines. Gives you this really cool stuff, and I can't put that down. Because it's already down, that's why. Duh. Um, so yeah, it gives you this really cool one. So there's variated mine, uh, not mines, <laughs> not mines at all. There's variated vines. There we go. Uh, in here, and I think that's a different one. Yeah, desert hills for a different one. I didn't actually know about that with the bush. So that's a new one that you've just taught me, Dukon. Yeah. So anyway, really good there. So it's actually showing that, and then you can see that there's bits of it coming in through the cobblestone that actually goes up, and also through the stone brick. But it doesn't go all the way up. It kind of goes up to about here. And that's about it. You can see there's random bits like just appear, which is fine. Random bits are actually really good. Um, and then you just get the, the cracked stone brick that comes in. So it's actually got that kind of variation into it. And that actually works its way all the way you know, up in a way. Um, it it kind of goes around this build here. And it does look a little bit too... Like there's a cutoff point around this this bit here. This side. If you look at it. And you can kind of see what I mean now. So there is almost like a cutoff block. So I would have liked to see... It almost like climbing up one of the towers a little bit more, maybe like this tower because it's a bigger one. Maybe it had just a little bit more blocked in, like you know, randomly up here, and maybe like a, a mossy one there, and just a little, a little bit of vine. So it looks like um, one bit's more overgrown than the other, or something like that. But that is a really, really good idea and actually really nice detail. So it's not just spamming it; it makes it look cleaner at the top and then dirtier down the bottom, which is what they're actually like. So that's actually how castles are. So. That makes sense. So I just wanted to say about that and how that good how good that is. Uh, got a nice little kind of little gate here, and then you've got the main door. I really like this main door. I, 
I like the trapdoors. I need to use those more often. Uh, but then you go into this small courtyard and you've got my signs that says I'm making a video on it. Yep. <laughs> and like a notice board. Obviously you started to use the well, the other types of uh, oh, there we go. Bottles. And you can see he's changed the biome on that one. So we've got loads of bottles now. Uh, over here we actually have a cauldron -y type thing. like a, That's where you can actually cook or heat up water uh, for the lords. But we've also got a well. So I want to talk about this well. As as well, um, I would have liked to see with this well. One of the, one of the things I did notice was that there wasn't any like mossy brick around here. And yes, I'm going to go into this much detail. So there wasn't any mossy around here or or around it. So it didn't seem like the water was spilling over. So obviously, when you're pulling up water, uh, the water is going to spill over it. It's going to create like little pools in these because these rocks aren't great. And it would would actually mossy up a little bit. So I would have liked to see that, especially when there. I don't think there's anything behind this as such. Pretty sure there isn't. Yeah, there we go. So you know, could have definitely put in some mossy in there just to make it look like water has spilled over and it's actually gone. Um, as well as doing the whole, I don't know if you can actually do this. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Uh, doing like eight colon seven or something like that. Possibly depends. This, this is like a choice one. No, it's not eight colon seven. It's nine colon seven then. It's one of them. I know it is. There we go. So possibly doing that, but even I'm not that keen on that in this kind of environment. Uh, I guess, um, especially with the fire there. So don't do that. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It'll get dry quickly. But yeah, I would have liked to see that. Um, another thing that I did see uh, is this well. So for you guys that don't know, this is usually what wells look like underneath. They do get bigger as they go down. Um, this is actually a pretty good one in general. But I still would have liked to see some like, mossy, mossy brick. Some of the mossy brick around. Uh, this one's got, I think it's just a mix of normal and dark, which is still very, very cool. Maybe have some of the mossy meta down there, and possibly even... Oh, this is really good. I just wanted to mention about this. Um, these are actually really good. I'm just going to check to... Yeah, that is on there. Yeah, but using the, the actual stones here to show that it's been broken down over time and, and things. But um, stuff like simple underwater leafy stuff it, it always just looks good. Oh, I think it looks good. And there we go. I've timed out. And I'm back. So anyway, after that fun, um, <laughs> server problems, yeah, probably add in some of those and probably even do some sort of small details here. For some reason, I, don't, I like to hide crap in here. Like they, somebody might have dropped some coins down, for example, and use, uh, you know, the weighted press plate there. You know, somebody's done it as a wishing well. That would make it a lot more interesting. So it'd add a tiny little bit of interest and... Yeah, maybe somebody else has lost something down here or thrown somebody down here. I don't know, they might be insane and they might have actually thrown a literal dude down here and he's now dead. Yeah. So I'm going to leave. Actually, I'm not going to leave those. He'll see him. Dukon, you'll see him. <laughs> I'll send the video to you if you don't. But there you go. So, um, tiny little details like that is something that's really good. Um, the actual floor itself, very, very gravelly. Uh, could maybe have done with occasional bits of this. Uh, but that would to mix in with any of these bits. So if there was uh, actual mossy rock, you know, on the ground, for example, uh, let's have a look. If there is any? Okay, maybe there. You know, you could always do use that one, which has actually got a little bit in it. So it looks like it's actually kind of uh, the moss has actually come down. So that would always be interesting. As well as obviously you've got the the two ones like that. I mean, even that one just adds a little bit of colour because um, it connects in with the dirt, I believe. But yeah, I'm gonna leave those. So that's up to you. Right. So. Let's go... Which way are we going to go? And it's Red Guard Keep. It's got a name. Cool. Guard is spot wrong there. But, meh. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So yeah, we've got all of that. Um, lots and lots of hay, so we've got this kind of like cooking area. Uh, this way goes up into the castle part, which we'll be going up to in a second. Um, and having a look at that. I think we'll go this way first, so... This I quite liked. I, I really like this this little area here, where obviously you've got storagey stuff like hay and this might just be grain for, for general storage that hasn't been put away or you know stuff like that. Um, that's a nice little roof on it. Fits in really cool. That's really cool. Cool. Um, yep, yeah, got more store stuff. You've got like um, grapes and things up here. I really like that. I really like how they're, they're kind of like connected on. It's almost like they are supposed to be grown there because you've got these boards. So I really really like that. Uh, over here we actually have a bathroom. Or, oh no, this is a washing room. That makes sense now. I saw this before and I didn't understand what it was. Um, 
yeah, I really like this as well. It's washing room. That's pretty cool. Maybe again have a little bit of moss on it. I don't know. Just to, just to show that it's damp. Um, but no, that's really cool. But then again, it means... Maybe that's where the hot water's from. Because you could bring the hot water inside, couldn't you? And then actually put this in here. And then Yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, but I like the doors. I like the double doors and those. So those are really cool. Um, nice little torch there. Got some blood from... Well, this butcher dude. So he's been like cutting up things. Uh, and also drinking heavily, apparently. <laughs> so he's been doing that. Got a nice little corner here. Even details in there. And, oh. That's axe. There we go. If we go up these little walls and we get onto the ramparts, this is quite cool. I really love the randomness of the direction of these trap doors. Like, over here as well. You can't actually get into this door. Um, I don't think you can. I couldn't see a button. But I actually quite like it because then it shows that there is something in there. Look, it's all fancy in there. So you kind of want to go in there. Um, which is quite nice. That's, in a way, that's like a, a... Not like a line of sight blocker, but that's like a path blocker. So this plot itself does have a path. You've already got your two choices. Well, you've got three choices. You can go down through there. You can go up there. You can go right through here. You know, you can do all that stuff. So you've already got choices, but that kind of blocks you off in a way. In a good way. Because you can see in. But, um, yeah. Really like that. And then you get... Have a look at this. And the style and everything that's going on here, which is really cool. So the window's open. But we'll kind of work our way up. So over here we got stuff like using the barrels here with spears in. Um... What else we got here? Just typical weapons here. And can we actually go up to the top? Oh, I do like those. I like those floating trapdoors. Those are good. Those are good. That's cool. And also the flag, obviously. Nice little simple flag. And if we go over to here, on these these other little kind of uh, ramparty parts. Ramparty parts? Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm going to go with. Um, so we've got this like defense there that goes around. What I probably would have liked to see, because there's... Only so much you can do with these spears, but there is. I don't know if um, Dukon might be aware of this. He might not. Uh, but the the weapons that we've got, the weapons that we've got. Oh yes. So stuff like there we go. That's a fishing rod. You don't really want a fishing rod in war. Um, stuff like the biome versions of these. There you go. So you can put like swords and stuff around, which is desert hills. And oh, there you go. There was a bow. I already lost it. There's like bows and arrows and things and swords. So yeah, that would be that'd be quite nice to see just dotted around, and because there isn't really too much biome specific stuff underneath it, um, it's pretty much this wall. You've got three blocks. Also, yeah, you've got three blocks, so you could actually do that in the middle uh, without really worrying about affecting biome. So it might be nice to see a couple of those around, uh, you know, like randomly, like not there. <laughs> I'll fix it. Don't worry. There we go. I think it was there. That's fine. Yeah, so like there or somewhere else over here and then affect the biome on that one and I think I can yeah so I could actually affect that one now you get like a small hatchety type thing or there you go sword so using those ones um, would also make it look like there is there is stuff on here and it make it look interesting as well uh, which is always good uh, another thing that they actually did defense wise is poured either oil or hot water down uh, on people so if people are actually trying to attack here and the, the actual iron bars itself are closed actually pour it down there so possibly even have just a barrel here but actually I can see why not because you've run out of space <laughs> there's not too many places you could probably put one there probably put like a barrel there and just fill it with water that would also make sense for this because then they could pull this up all the way up to here and then actually put it over there so that's always good but let's continue on with the bottom floor because that's what we're doing I'm gonna try and I'm gonna get lost I know I'm gonna get lost because I've already got lost while having a look at this before but, uh, yeah, we're going to try and do it floor by floor. So that's where the, the washing room is. Uh, down here, we've got some stairs, and we've got the kitchen. Now, I haven't actually seen this before. There we go, we've got a kitchen. I uh, haven't got different biome ones of these, but then again, the biomes, because it's more of a, a very vertical building, especially this castle. Uh, oh, there we go. You can see the biome versions there. So that's probably like a biome above type of thing. Uh, or just to get these really cool shelves in. That's really cool, actually. I'm going to be using that. Dukan, you have seen me use this. Oh, you have seen me say that I'm going to use this. Actually, even using the daylight sensor, I never use it for anything. I don't know what it's used for there, but it looks like a box or something. I might start using that as well. <laughs> oh, wow, we're in tower. Okay. We'll check that out in a second. So there we go. We've got a nice, nice, uh, 
nice fire. We've got like cakes and things cooking up there. We've got barrels here, and then we've got over in this side, and this is uh, give it a little corridor. Got like shelves and herbs hanging up. Again, the root, the actual ceiling design itself is is amazing. It's great. It's actually great. I love it. I've, I'm really into ceiling designs at the minute, and this is really nice, like pillars going across. Uh, we then have this like uh, an actual crane type system. Uh, that just has single box, good, not too much load. And I'm gonna grab not not that, I want an actual light torch. Let's grab a torch. There you go, let's grab a torch so we can actually have a look down here. And then down here you actually have like storage, which I think was really cool. So we've got the storage down here. And that looks good. I like this. Is that just a normal oak wood slab? Fair enough. Fair enough. Um but there we go. All this kind of stuff. Um wine as well. You know, fits into there. You got weapons down here. I really like this. Really like this, like weapons area. I guess uh, I, I just thought that looks really good. But uh, yeah, there we go. There's that. Uh, we've got a couple of cells over here. We got a broken chain. No idea. But there we go. We have got a nice little cell in here. Again, using the different iron bars, which is really good. Got another cell over there as well. It's like pretty, pretty broken and yeah. But um, <laughs> that's always good. And then we've got the actual guardsman table here, which is quite nice. I think that was I, I thought that was really cool. And then this goes into the stairs. So we've we seen the like armory part. And then this is the stairs probably go to go to the kitchen. Yeah, so that goes to the kitchen. I really like that as well, that there's not just a you know, you don't have to go down just by this. Because that wouldn't be good. I've seen a couple of plots that have done that, but no. That's good. That's that's better. Uh right. Now where do we want to go upstairs? Let's go up this main stairway. There we go, nice shelf. And again, roof. People, look at the ceiling. Look at the ceiling. It's just using that's just using stairs and then slabs. But it looks good. I'm gonna continue with this light because it is quite dark with shaders on. Uh, and also a little balcony part there. Not really a balcony, but you know what I mean. Then this comes out here. So this is the the upstairs part of this. I uh, have got a tiny little window in there as well, to let in some light. So there we go, got more like guard stations here. They could obviously close those doors up. And again, Ceiling. Look at the ceiling. Thank you. Right, I've got a seat here. I quite like this. I can imagine like sitting here as a fat lord that can't actually get down the stairs very quickly. Uh, over here we have more stairs going up, so we'll do that in a bit. We'll try and explore everywhere first. Uh, we've got a small little sitting area here. So this might be for the servants possibly. Oh, and then we get into like the lord's hall of some sorts. And if you think about how small this plot is. And how much is actually put into it is pretty is pretty nuts. It really is. So there we go, we've got a nice chair here for the Lord. Maybe the lady sits here and gets her head hit into with one of those, but that's fine. <laughs> there we go. Nice big fire and where does the fire go? I will test this on the outside. I'll see if it actually goes anywhere. Um and then stuff like this. Which looks really, really good. Um could always have a coat of arms, so Dukon might not know how to make one of these. Something that I've seen from the Westeros Craft server. I know he's been uh, on there occasionally, so I might show quickly how to do that. Let's jump outside. So, coat of arms. Well, the closest, closest we can actually get is something like a uh, cobblestone wool. We've got one of those. We could do stuff like this. Uh, one, two, three, four. Get onto the metal one. And then actually use Wither Skull. On top of that, and grab the spear meta because that always looks quite good on it. There you go spear meta, throw that down, and then also this is where my server gets more annoying <laughs> more than anything else. Um, there we go, we get on these, get a trap door, shove the trap door onto it, and then actually switch this out for one of those. And that's going to ping off, of course, it's going to ping off. So I'll just shove it onto here, and let's go here. Just a good old thing of this. Trick it. Bang, bang. There we go. You got like a coat of arms type thing. So they look pretty good. Um, and obviously you can actually buy them. This one until you get like the wheel. So that's what I usually do for like a coat of arms type thing. So I might be able to get one of those in. Um, possibly. But then again, it's personal preference really. So that could, that would actually fit into into this room quite nicely somewhere. Though I don't know where. So it takes up quite a bit of room for what it is. But no, got like some spears and things, got like weapons. These are like pokers for the actual fire as well. You could use those uh, for that. 
Uh, got some wood around, which is always good. Uh, a lot of people actually forget, even in these type of places, they would still need to have the wood around. And, of course, this looks really awesome. This is something that I, I noticed um, only on this plot. I've never seen it before. And it's stupidly simple. But using that painting on uh, an actual door, because it's like a door knocker. I don't use it for that ever, so that's really good. Uh, nice carpet as well. I got another sitting area and stuff. And I think we've got over here a little storage room. Oh no, this is a toilet. So yep, yeah, you would just um, squat here, poop, and it would it would fly out. Yep, that's how it that's how it works. Nice. <laughs> I've also got like these these bits here. I want to find out how to get up to this bit, like where the, where this is all kind of like overlooking as well. That's really neat for what it is for the like size. Now this I'm guessing goes down to. Oh, this goes down to the kitchen. Okay, that's awesome. So this might be the servants. Seventh staircase, maybe? I don't know. I can't remember. I've, I've watched the vid that where um, Dukon went over it. But there you go. There's the actual uh, kind of like escape, I guess. Uh, through that door to, to the back. Again, really nice windows, nice curtains, and nice everything in general. Really cool. And ceiling design, awesome for this part. Right. Where do we want to go? Do we want to go through this staircase, or do we want to go through... Let's, let's go through this one. Let's go up this one. Let's see what's up here. There we go. Let's go in here. So this gets us to this. Ah, okay, this gets us to this level. I think I missed it before. I think I literally ran past it. So I might just grab my... I'll just grab a redstone torch. It's not that light. Then we've got more defences here and also steps up to get to those defences. Which I think is really cool. Uh, just in case you need to defend it properly. And look at this. This is really big as well. And again, really awesome ceiling design. Really, really awesome. Like Almost like checkered type boards. And they, they seem to be going at angle. That I've never freaking seen before and that looks really awesome now that I've kind of noticed what it is so it's like beams are going like this way I'm going to be using that as well <laughs> there you go. so I'm getting inspiration from this this type of build but there we go got a nice sitting area this more like a library type area and it's overlooking here as well uh, these are biome specific anvils as well which is nice so there you go got that like overlook here so you can actually look over there and I just think that's really cool uh, is there anything else around here? We've got another staircase there, so we'll go up that staircase, or I might go back to that staircase, I don't know. Just go out here, so we get this um, extra, again, defence. Really, really good defence here. So this is on this part here, for those people that are wondering, it's just above it. Uh, really cool. So above this wooden bit, so there we go. Awesome. Uh, we're going to go up here now. Let me go up this way. Let's go up here. So... There's a cauldron. There's a furnace there. I, I thought something looked weird. <laughs> now, I can tell that, but most people wouldn't even notice that. That's really good, actually, for hidden lighting. I will use your tool. I will use your tool. So, there we go. Anyway, let's go up to here. Where are we? How are we? We're on one of the, the side extensions now. And we've got, like, this nice cupboardy part here. And we got some... Ah, oh, this might be the servants' quarters. This might actually be the servants' quarters. Oh, there's the furnace. So not only is that for hidden lighting, I guess, on this side, it can also be... Well, it's actually used as a real furnace. Aha! And again, roof, ceiling, thing. Cool. Um, it uses that extra block, but it uses it wisely, so it's fine. But there we go. Really cool. Uh, what have we got over here? We've got this, like, sitting area. So we've got a couple of beds. We've got quite a few beds. Uh, you know, cards and tasks and things. Toilets right there? No, it's not a toilet. <laughs> no, no, really, really cool. And there you go, you can see these like little bits here which look out on the window to get their own extension. Got a couple beds on the side. I wasn't too sure what these were. I couldn't figure it out why they were sideways. I actually couldn't figure it out, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Might be because the textures are buggy as hell on the side due to 1.7. But, meh. Right, what's this? Oh my god. I don't know, this existed. Where the hell did this come from? What's this? Oh, that's another bit. Look at that, that's another bit. I didn't even notice that bit was there. Not really, anyway. That's cool. I like that. And it goes down, down to there, does there. So that's just, uh. Huh? Huh. I want to know where that is now. <laughs> I'll find that place. <laughs> so again, we're. I mean, think of how long we're actually spending on a P minus plot. Quite a long time just having a look at P minus plot. So that's how kind of 
good detail wise it is, but in here, above the main hall, I'm guessing, is that's a pretty cool area. I'm confused by the spikes. But it looks different and looks good. We got loads and loads of red curtains here. That looks really good down looking down this table. Actually. Even if it's even though it's off, you know, slightly, it's actually fine, it's completely fine. Interesting um table as well. Like I got lots of food and cake. I'd never put cake in my massive tables. That's something I need to do. I do put bottles and everything else, but I never put cake. That's really good though. I, I like this as well. I like this ornamented part here. It's actually using this uh, a bookshelf meta as well. Uh, so this is actually bookshelves that if you just right click once you'll get that one. Uh, that just looks cool. Um, yeah, really, really nice. Nice and simple as well. Just using item frames. Using these like boards here. Pretty cool. We've got some drinks and stuff. And in here we've got another toilet. Ah, that's what it is. Another toilet. Excellent. <laughs> There we go. You definitely need that. Right. Next floor. I think it is next floor time. Next floor time. Let's go up. Let's go up. Let's go up. So, there we go. Here's the next floor. Got a nice window there. We haven't seen the Lord's room yet. There's a button on this one. I'm not going there. I hate buttons. God damn it. I'll go in there in a bit. <laughs> Over here. Another toilet. This one's more of a fancy toilet. I mean, look. They've got toilet paper here. I like how it, I like how there's handles on these, as if you can squat onto these handles. It's brilliant. Oh dear. But then we got this um, the end stone variant of that as well, which looks a lot better. There we go. Uh, also got really good fire here because you need them. You need them everywhere. And I'm guessing this is the Lord's room. Look at this. We've got like a four-posted bed. One of the smallest ones I've ever seen because it's had to fit in such a small place, but really well designed, and again really well ornamented. So this is really awesome. Uh, over here we have I'm guessing like a changing room. Isn't that like a changing room? Possibly. Well, I quite like that. And also, yeah, mirror. I never use that either. I need to start using that more. I just never fit into anything. But um, yeah, really cool. Really, really cool for this bit. Lots of windows, lots of open. It's very open. It's got lots of light coming in, which is why it seems like a Lord's one, so they can look out. You know, you got your. These are fitting really nicely as well. So this is just a slab. I'm just going to take that out. So these are just fitting really nicely. I didn't even think about doing that. So that's really good depth wise. And that's a lot of. That's three blocks right there. Three or four blocks because you've got the actual flowers on the outside. And we'll have a look at the outside and talk about that in a bit after I've done the full interior tour. Because then you get an idea of um, everything that's going on on the inside. There we go. Right. Where do we go to? Let's go. We went down there, didn't we? This is the fancy bathroom. We'll go into this one. I'll get stuck on the door. Nope, I'm alright. <laughs> Usually I get stuck on those. Now this, where's this then? Oh, this is the treasury. Okay, so this is this is where like the treasurer sits. Whatever his name is. And, and he looks at the gold. Loads of gold. And it's got some wood as well. Uh, so that might be for the fire. That actually might be for the fire in the Lord's room. Maybe this is like the, the type but, butler type person. Uh, obviously they don't really have butlers, but butler type person, nice shelf as well here it's quite cool and I, I like that arch as well just to, just to finish things off nicely, there we go, and that goes onto the stairs okay now I can't get out, god damn it there. unless I want to go up that way unless you want me to go up this way I'll follow your path that you've set in place Dukan, there we go, and up here oh you get the bell tower, so that's fine that's good that we actually got here, so we go got a natural bell tower that's pretty awesome. I like that. So maybe this is like, uh, maybe he's like, like, maybe he's like a religious person as well. I don't know. He could be. He could be like the religious dude of the, the castle. So there's somebody that doesn't live in here, but oh no, he does live in here. Yeah, he lives in here. So maybe this is like the the fancier person. He's got his own like wing. He's actually got a pretty big wing. Uh, but there we go. We've got that. Let's go up these stairs then. And we got a choice. Okay, we got a choice up. Upstairs, or we've got one in here, and in here, we've got like a higher place. So There's another little room. So we've got some like tables in here, like gambling, uh, water and books and shelves and things and potions, and another big room. Okay, so we've got another big room. Actually, fit in here. It's a big bed, and this wanders down to <laughs> Fido's bed. Is that like a dog? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Brilliant. I quite like that though. And they got another fire and a, a nice seat here. So there's quite a few fires. I'm just going to see where the actual smoke goes. I really want to know where the smoke goes. And this goes into... Is that just like a tiny little extension on there? Oh, look, there is smoke coming out. That's good. 
As long as there's smoke coming out, I'm fine. I had a tiny little um, my wardrobe. That's good. Fido's bed. Good goddamn Fido. And if we go out here, we get another balcony. So there you go, got another balcony, and this is where you poop here. Excellent. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Does there need to be anything else on here? It's a little bit too much stone brick, but that's fine. That's fine. It's really simple for the amount of stuff that's in here. So it's really, really good there. Um, right, let's go up the steps even more. So let's keep on going up. And we'll get to... Oh, it goes up even more. Then in here, we've got like a really cramped... And I think I know what this is. If you think about this, if you think about Game of Thrones, and you think about the, the maesters that throw out the pigeons, I reckon that's what this is. I reckon that's what it's for. Because that would make sense with these cage type things here, using the cage one. And I haven't seen one of these actually done in a castle. This actually works really well, so that's just like um, 4x4 cages. So you can do that on uh, console versions as well, obviously. So that's really cool. And again, the, the ceiling design is actually in there. Uh, there's a lot of design gone into onto this as well. Just just making sure you put upside down stairs and things in. Simple stuff, um, but good stuff. So yeah, that's looking really cool. So this is like this must be like the maester. Yeah, because he's got like a big map, so he's the clever one. <laughs> he's the clever one out of all of them. Uh, so that's really cool. That is really cool, actually. And then we have... Up here, how do we... Ha, then we're out. We're free. Yay. So we've got some spears up here. Um, so if, if again, there was three biomes, I think... No, there's no way you can get arrows up here, to be honest. They're so tall, like high up and tall. Uh, but no, really, really cool. So let's have a look at the outside. So there we go. You can see the smoke. I'm happy then. I'm happy with that. It makes sense purpose-wise. So let's have a look at the outside and kind of deconstruct that a bit. I know it's a long video, guys, but we've got like mainly bigger uh, stone brick kind of at the bottom. And it goes onto the more kind of like cobblestone and lighter stuff, and you also get these extensions bit on. Uh, these are these are really cool, actually. I really like these. These like extensions like this, and also like this. These tiny little ones that are kind of like bolted on uh, after the actual main castle has been built. Then you've got you know like wooden. And roofs here, and we can do some more stuff with the roofs with this one because of the different. Uh, wondering if I think it's this one, is it? I can't remember. Not that one, then. Not that one, but there is a couple of them that are in, for example, stone brick. I know has one, never brick has one. Uh, I think it might be stone brick. Not that one, but there might be buying versions of those and never brick as well. There we go. So there is um, the stairs. So if you use never breaking, you actually just uh, actually use the metas on those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to get the direction. You actually get. Oh, that's freaking out a bit. Let's copy. Not that one. Copy that one. So you can actually get the stair variants of those. So you can actually smooth this out just a little bit or add variation. Um, I think it looks a little bit too standardy. Um, so it could have done with a couple little bits of those stairs, but Dukon might not have known about those stairs. So possibly put those in to make it look a bit smoother on, on parts of it, like here. Uh, definitely could switch that one out for a stair as well as these ones, and just make it that little bit, you know, cleaner, and also wouldn't affect the inside. Uh, I really love the windows, and I like how it, it almost advances as it goes up. So you've got like this really simple balcony part here, which just looks like it's been bolted on as like an extra defense. Um, you've got the main main bit here, which looks really good, and our main roof as well. Um, you've got big windows on this room, so this is a big, big room. Did we find this? Yeah, we did find that. And I like how the, the actual shutters are open on those, um, to show that there is some shutters. Uh, we have the actual bell tower there, as the actual outside of it, so people were wondering where that was. Pretty cool. Um, then you've got this, like, maester's place here, and even the detail on the outside, just putting in... Tiny little bits of uh, cobblestone and stuff, and also bringing these wood down actually looks really good. And again, could always use the stairs on these just to smooth it out, make it look a little bit you know, smoother in general, or to randomise it possibly. That looks really cool. Let's have a look around one of the other sides. Uh, also, yeah, using this, this looks really good. So there's like a ledge here, using the stone brick every so often, and then using uh, cobblestone, and then cobblestone with a fence looks really cool. And even fence gates, just joining two of them together for that window. Uh, so if we have a look around the sides, there we go. So we've got a similar kind of style to here, 
but less wood. So this is more of a brick one. Uh, not brick one, but yeah, a brick one. Stone brick. This looks really cool. Uh, I actually like this one quite a lot. It looks a bit more stable, and it looks more like it's it's been it's meant to be there in a way. Uh, and it's got these little arches. I, I like those arches, as well as the actual materials that have been used and stuff like that. Yeah, we got another similar one up here again. Dukon's showing off loads of different styles in here, so it's really good. And I, I know he does similar stuff on his channel, so do check him out. Um, there you go. You got loads of stuff in here, as well as all these like arches. I mean, this one's got like lots of design and features in it. Whereas this side. It's almost like the defensible side. In a, well, it's not very really defensible side. It's got like defensible stuff on it. This one's got lots of arches on it, really big arches, and they look, they look cool. And then you got the there you go. You can see the hall in there, which looks awesome. As well as this hall down there, so it is on top. I was correct. Um, but yeah, this one like a big arch instead of two small ones, and you can see that he's actually switched over these to the birch forest. I'm sure, of course, you some mayhem down there. <laughs> So you've done it, but that's really cool. And then on the side, just like a typical normal roof, uh, but with these like side extensions on it as well, as you can see. And also, I quite like this. I quite like this design using the crates uh, mixed in with the spruce. That looks really good with the buttons on it, and also with the cobblestone. Didn't think about that. That looks really good. You got the flags going in the right directions, yeah, as well as the wind direction. Yeah, of course. Cool. So that's always good. I always check for that. But, I mean, this looks really good, this like little extension. That's cool. Right, let's check out the back. The back of them usually suffer, but this one's actually done really well. Like, this one's actually done it really nicely here. Like, I didn't even notice. There we go. That's where, that's where the poop comes out. It does actually fall off. Excellent. <laughs> it's actually thought about it, maybe. There we go. You can see these, like, little um, flowers and things just to go onto it to add more detail and even more style on it. So if you guys want some ideas just for a castle and want to... Have a look at this and, and have a look at how to expand and just see what you guys can come up with in general. Um, definitely check out this plot. This one is by Dukon Red one I actually got a rating of 34 out of 40, which is, I think, is the highest rating we've had on a P-plot so far. Uh, but if I actually show you guys, and I'm rendering the dime map at the minute, but it got 8 for style, 9 for details, purpose got 9, and atmosphere got uh, 8. The reason atmosphere got 8 is because... I don't know why the atmosphere got 8, but maybe I'm just a harsh marker, which I am. But no, really good. Uh, there was little bits in the detail, which I've, I've shown in the video, which probably could have been improved on. And But purpose was really high up there. I've never given a 10 for anything, and I never will. <laughs> I don't know what a 10 is. So that's like the highest I'll ever give, probably. Uh, if, if somebody got nine, like straight 9s, that is literally like a 10 for anyone else. But um, really good plot. Come check it out. You can do slash PTP uh, minus 15, semicolon minus 15. I'll bring it right here, just fly around to this side. Have a wander, have a look. Um, but yeah, also check out Duke on Red 1 if you guys want to. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next one.